in the last lecture we have recorded um, we have talked about real images non real images or virtual images okay now here in this diagram what is this shape by the way the shape we are which i just shown you wait what is this shape what lens is that a convex lens a convex lens and if you see few things i want you to draw this diagram quickly very easily i want you to draw this lens and draw the same way as it is drawn because we will label it and then we will express some things in that okay one by one quickly draw that very easy to draw if you have a compass you can draw one side of it and then by placing like i can tell you how first thing first always draw this straight line right then put a i mean dot at one open the compass for something and let's put your compass i mean your uh, compass needle here and draw a line like that then put your needle of a compass here and draw a line and you will have your convex lens like that ready always draw this straight line so 2 minutes i am giving you draw this diagram quickly with a neat and clean pen and pencil i mean with the scale and everything and then i will we will discuss today some basics of and some basic terms of convex lens or you can call it converging lens quickly guys 2 minutes guys once you finish with that let me know please you draw that now let's see the basic terms here first of all why do we call this as uh, converging lens you know last class i have used a term called real image so basically why i called it real if you see that after the ray coming to this point after refraction these rays are passing through one point this point or they meet at one point so it is the power of a con convex lens that it converges all the rays at one point this point so if it converge all the rays at one point it actually draws a real image and real image is always inverted that's what we have talked about in the last class now what are the things this point where all the rays are converge or meet after refraction this point is called as principal focus so i want you to put a heading principal focus plus write few lines there all the light rays inside the principal focus i want you to write all the light rays after refraction all the light rays after refraction from the convex lens from the convex lens meet at one point meet at one point meet at one point that is the reason that is the reason we called convex lens as we called convex lens as converging lens we called convex lens as converging lens okay yumna uh, you just arrived a bit late salam first of all from now on i am actually recording my lectures as well so as you just missed the previous small bit you can take this lecture from our coordinator as well okay it's all recording there okay okay by the way it's the same thing it's you didn't miss anything okay so this is your basically converging lens concept now in the next bullet point i want you to write 
light all the light rays after a refraction from the convex lens all the light rays after refraction from the convex lens meet at one point meet at one point which is called principal focus which is called principal focus which is called principal focus now put a heading principal focus in the bracket write it down capital f this point is capital f now put a heading principal axis anybody have any idea what is principal axis Anyone having any idea? The straight line. The straight line passing through the center of the lens. This is the line. It's called as principal axis. So just write the definition of it. A line which is passing through the center of a lens is called as principal axis. This is an imaginary line. Remember that. All right. Sir, can you repeat? The line which is passing through the center of a lens is called as principal axis. This is an imaginary line. Now another point. I want you to mark it in the diagram. What is this point, Ashjad? The center of a lens. Anyone knows what is the name of this? Focal length. This is called optical focus. Normally we represent it by O. Optical focus. So put a heading optical focus and write the center of a lens is called as optical focus. The center of lens is called as optical focus. What is this distance which is from optical focus to focus? Or principal focus. The distance between optical center and principal focus is called as focal length. Put a heading focal length. And it is represented by a small f. Right line. Distance of principal focus from the center of a lens. The distance of principal focus to the optical focus distance between it's not optical focus actually it's optical center please correct it the center is optical center okay. so distance between Principal focus and optical center is called as focal length. The distance between principal focus and the optical center of a lens is called focal length. In the bracket right is small f. So guys, we have learned four or five terminologies. First is principal focus. Second is optical center. Third is principal axis. And the fourth or fifth is focal length. Anyone have any problem in this? No, sir. Good. So these are the basics. Now we have to form an image here. Now, let's start forming the image. But before that, I need to tell you a few things which are not shown in this one. 
how can you show the, i mean how can you draw that let's quickly see that for that i am opening my sheet and i want you to have your copy ready for this because here you have to draw in, drawing actually wait a minute okay now here is the thing always remember now before we actually know how to draw the image from convex lens which is in our course put a heading rays properties we use for construction of the image from convex lens put this heading <laughs> now if you write it okay now important first thing first whenever you want to draw a diagram related to the lens what is the first step in drawing a lens ibrahim first step it's sir i'm um, drawing the shape mm -hmm. the of first the thing lens. first thing is you always draw a principal axis a straight line oh and it will be always drawn on a graph paper so always draw on a horizontal straight line and then select which point you are drawing a convex lens let's suppose this is the point or this is the center of a lens right now let's suppose if you are drawing the lens here take this one where you place your needle or here whatever or you can put it here no problem you will draw a no no you better move a bit here and draw a arc like that or you better draw a arc like this and then you will draw an arc like this it will be like that wait my lens is not that good actually because i have it, i have a pen here but if you draw it with a compass it will work like this is your center you will place it here and you will draw an arc like that same thing you will place your needle here and you will draw an arc like this so your lens will be like this always draw this dotted line in the center which shows the center of a lens in the middle whenever you draw a diagram let's suppose the focal length distance is 2 cm consider it 1 cm or 2 cm it's all up to you you will always show focus principal focus on both the sides of the lens because lens can refract from both the sides so one focus will be here and one focus will be on the other side and there will be an other point which is another 1 cm if you take f as 1 mark it 2f here and mark 2f on the other side this is the labeling you always have to do once you are trying to draw a diagram okay and your optical center is here in the middle this is the thing you always need to draw while you are drawing a image right now first thing first what rays we are using what are the properties of rays we are using which will be helping us to draw the image now first ray ray 1 this is we have seen already we say that a ray which is act parallel to the principal axis parallel means horizontal ray a ray which is parallel to the principal axis whenever it refract it always passes through the focus this is the first ray and this property we will use to draw the image what do we write here a ray which is parallel to the 
principal axis after refraction passing through principal focus guys any problem in this students sir i don't understand can you explain again okay but my point is see we take different lines to draw our image so what we have seen it if line is coming parallel to the principal of axis like that then after refraction it goes past the focus like that that's what it means let me show you the proper image here if if i can if i will be able to let me just check i have that document let me just show you the you know proper because i drawn this uh, line line okay Mm, where is the nitrogenic thing? Wait a minute. If I just not this one. Can you see this lens? Thin lens? Yes, sir. Okay. I am talking about these. See. Now it's all there. Now these are the properties we are talking about. I am at this lens. I am this ray at the moment. What they are saying is, a ray which is parallel to the principal axis, after refraction, passes from the focus. Like this. Yes, Ibrahim. Now is there any issue? Um, no, sir, I understand. Good. So I want you to write, I will dictate it, don't worry. A ray of light, a ray of light parallel to the principal axis after refraction, after refraction. Passing through the principal focus. Passing through the principal focus. Sir, so, can you repeat? Okay. A ray of light which is parallel to a ray of light which is parallel to. A ray of light which is parallel to principal axis. A ray of light which is parallel to principal axis after a refraction passing through the focus. Passing through the focus or principal focus. All right, students. Did you copy everyone? Yes. Now put a heading second ray. Now there is a second ray, and we will take, we will uh, see the property of that. Okay. Put a heading second ray. Again, draw the same line or what you can do because at this point of time, we are not drawing. You understand how to draw it. Just draw a simple lens with a dotted line passing through the center, which is principal axis. Draw the diagram quickly.
once you draw it give me a shout then i will explain something to you we have to write this and we are we need to actually finish this light topic today inshallah okay Yes, everybody draw on it. Few lines. It's for the explanation of the third ray, right? A ray which is passing through the focus. A ray which is passing through the focus. A ray which is passing through the focus after refraction from the lens, after refraction from the lens becomes parallel to the principal axis, becomes parallel to the principal axis. So what exactly it is? A simple ray which is passing through the focus, when it refracts from the convex lens, it will be parallel to the principal axis after refraction. First ray was, first ray and the third ray are exactly reverse of each other. First ray, it was like when the ray is parallel to the principal axis after refraction, passing through the focus. The third one is it passes through the focus after refraction becomes parallel. And the second one was a ray which is passing through the center of a lens will not change its path and will go straight. Everyone understood this? Yes, sir. Okay. Now put a heading construction of the image through convex lens. Construction of the image through convex lens. Okay. Now let's see how to draw it and what are the cases and how everything goes. All right. Now let's move. In. You will start your diagram in case wise there are different cases we have it okay so it will be case wise now how it is let's see first of all before you even draw this diagram or any diagram especially lens one you should have a lens i mean you should have a graph in your hand so in a graph book what you do you will draw a straight horizontal line first then you will select a point where your lens should be i mean the center of a lens Let's suppose this one, a bit far on the right, you will draw an arc. And then you put your needle here and you will draw an arc. Or you can move it a bit. It will be like this. So your center will be somewhere here in the middle. My lens is very bad. I don't want you to draw this type of lens. Please draw a proper lens. Because I am drawing with my hand and definitely you will have compass and everything with you. Okay. Right. Now the first thing. Select any focal length. Let's suppose one centimeter. So from middle, from the center, let's calculate one centimeter and mark the point here. What is this point, Ibrahim? Which point? This one, this one, the one I just point out on the line. This is called um, principal axis. Principal focus. Principal focus. And same distance will be on the other side. So, principal focus. 
now one more thing you have to draw one more point which is same distance as optical as same as the focal length but it is from focus we called it 2f double of f this is the thing you have to draw all the time once you are drawing the construction through the convex lens right now we are moving our object from far towards the near so let's suppose the first case that our object is here and i'm showing the object with a arrow like this this is our object right what is the position of the image or oh, sorry what is the position of the object position of object that is beyond 2f right this is the position of the object now let's draw the image the best ray which is used for this purpose is a ray which is parallel to the principal axis always draw it from the arrow a ray which is parallel to the principal axis right after the refraction passing through the principal focus of the lens let's okay now second ray which is used for that purpose is a ray which is passing through the center of the lens will not change its path okay it's a bit mess up you will have the line anyway you can draw it very easily but for me it is difficult if you see that image is formed here remember that where the lines cut each other that is a point where your head will be this is the head this is the tail so what is the image orientation image is inverted and what is the size of the image anybody can tell me as compared to object what is the size how does it look like bigger is smaller or what yes bigger. it's a smaller smaller in size so image is inverted and remember that inverted images are always real that's what i talked about previously that image which is actually formed by the real intersection of the light rays if i am now you understand what is meant by real intersection of the light rays yes sir here light rays are actually intersecting all right so image size smaller in size image is inverted in real and second most important point is where the image position be between f and 2f guys can you just copy that please i'll be just back for a minute 